Hey guys, Nate here with Nate's Interactive Auto. Today I just wanted to show you guys how to test a primary coil. One of the reasons I wear these gloves is not only to keep my hands clean and harmful chemicals off of me, but when fooling with electronics, um, you can short out electronics. You get moisture on your skin and things of that nature. It's always good to unhook the negative battery terminal. Um, ignition coils is an induction coil in an in a ignition system which transforms the battery's low voltage to a high voltage to create a spark in the spark plug uh, the coils have an internal resistor um, while others rely on a resistor wire or an external resistor to limit the current flowing into the coil so guys I just want to let you know something really important if you don't have a multimeter um, or you don't have some of the tools hey that's good because today's tool tip is going to show you guys just how to do a quick perform test so that you're able to find out if you're getting the spark that you need without the meter or anything of that nature so without further ado Let's jump right in. Let's start taking this cool off. This is a 2014 Honda Elantra GT. Um, I have videos on um, how to take your coils out, change your plugs, and all those things. So if you need any of those tips, jump right into that. Otherwise, if I cover every tip over and over again, you guys will be here all day trying to watch one tip. So first thing you want to do is take this bolt off. Mounted to the coil pack. So, whew, threw that one across the way, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Take it. Guys, just remember when you're performing this test that one of the things that will happen is um, as it's hotter or as it's colder it does change the primary cool resistance reading on your multimeter so just be aware of that if you have the manufacturer specifications or if you don't um, just keep that in mind pull this cool out Let's pull this one out Kind of loosen them up a little bit. It's what I always like to do. But these clips are a little bit aggravating. I use a small precision screwdriver. Uh, you can use something similar if you have a cool packs like these with clips like these because you want to unhook the clips what you do is you push this little tab back on the clip like when it's pulled out like that one is and you'll see this small silver tab pushed out to the side and it's what's not allowing you so you pull up and you got it out that's why you're able to move it around pull this guy out of here Continue removing the rest. Okay guys, what you want to do is take your positive and your negative of your multimeter. And I like to use these little gator clamps to hook to the end of them. Um, there's a setting on here for ohms for your resistance and um, make sure you have your resistance set you see it uh, looks like a horseshoe so just click on it where it looks like a horseshoe um, make sure it does not say uh, kilo ohms or anything like that and then once you've done that you can connect these together and make sure that it zeroes out 
if not you're going to have to subtract that from your reading so um, that's letting you know how much resistance is on it especially using the, these little alligator clips it's going to that much more susceptible for a bad reading and it's a good reading and then it's not so let's just see here okay now we're set at this zero. is the cool pack see this plug-in two little terminals coming out of it so those two little terminals you want to take one side of the positive, connect it to one terminal. Don't allow them to touch, so you definitely don't want to allow them to touch. And that's why I have these little plastic boots on here. It helps to keep them from accidentally touching one another. And let's try to connect this other one. If we can get it on there. These little guys are slippery. There we go. Now let's set this guy somewhere. Hey guys, you ready to get wrenching? I know I am on this next tool tip. As you can see, 1.8. So we're good to go in that category for the temperature and everything. It's just right. I want to show you guys the next tool tip. So here's the other quick test for the tool tips today. And take your spark plug, add your spark plug hole and of course you'll need to connect your connector back up to this so you know I would connect my connector back up and I would take a fuel pump fuse out or just uh, unclip one of my fuel injector clips for each cylinder for this test so take this plug and what you want to do is insert the plug in there just like it's supposed to be like I said make sure you have it connected once you've done that you've connected it find a good engine ground for example this uh, see find a good ground um, for one if you can't reach a good ground for example this one's a little short you can get an alligator clip and use it uh, to ground the plug so you can make sure and um, if you can't reach a uh, ground from here, see what you'd want to do is ground, find a bolt. Say there's uh, this intake bolt right here. Then I would take the end of the spark plug, see, ground it to it. But in this case, that's not going to work. So I just come over here to the side, grab the tip of the plug, do not grab the electrode just grab the ground strap the very bottom of it and then find somewhere to hook your wire up to a, gr a good ground say for example this bolt right here connect this clamp to this bolt or a good ground source not your battery and see if it fires if you see a spark you're good to go you can do it for each one of these plug wires fast and easy test I want to thank you guys for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. You guys keep on wrenching.